Kimberly Bottom for Apex TV, brought to you by ZF. And I'm Andrew McIntosh. Ahead of the curve isn't just a slogan for Apex, it's a concept that drives innovation for the aftermarket industry. Apex 2017 continues its focus on the future. Day 2's keynote speaker John Kinsella from Fit for Commerce gave an in-depth presentation on omni-channel retail. The sales approach gathers data on customers, learns their preferences, and gives them a personalized, seamless experience, whether they're in-store, on their mobile device, or on a computer. Kinsella says omni-channel retail needs to be embraced by the aftermarket industry. Over half the store sales in the United States last year were influenced by the websites and, and digital tools. So they got to think about how they integrate the mobile and, uh, and web tools for the stores. They also need to think about how do they gather information on the customer in all their channels so they can really understand that and have a 360 view of the customer to make it a more personalized and relevant experience when they're on the site. We need to do that as an industry to really keep pace, but the results are so profound by offering a personalized, relevant experience with, with the conversion that it really makes sense. Those customers are way more valuable. They are three or four times more valuable than single channel customers. And they become more loyal, uh, they buy more, they come back over and over again, um, and this is the future of retail. facts, the most pressing issues, and how industry leaders are addressing them. That's what Auto Care Association's president and CEO addressed during a press conference at Apex. Bill Hanvey provided updates surrounding the association's strategic pillars, including an emerging technologies committee that will assemble subgroups to work on various technology projects. Because it's good enough to talk about technology and the effects of technology in the aftermarket, but these folks are going to be charged with coming up with solutions. And that's something that the aftermarket has not seen before. A new online resource was also announced called the Vehicle Information Portal, or VIP. We are uniquely qualified to be able to aggregate and disseminate data to help our members become more efficient. Hanvey also said an aggressive advocacy strategy is a top priority for both the federal and state levels. We take our role as an industry leader very seriously and we're ready to get stuff done. Apex EDU's Let's Tech Talks are a hit. The 20 minute presentations are full of great information for aftermarket professionals. Let's check one out. Leveraging technology to boost your bottom line is the focus of this Let's Tech. Bolt-on Technologies' John Burkhauser shows us how shop efficiency is improved by mobile tablet technology and allows you to have real-time communications with customers. He believes informed customers are good customers. Shops that use our software have actually doing really great. Um, most shops are going to see between a 25 and 35 percent increase per repair order. It revolutionizes shops just by the fact that we can give the customer an exact picture of what they're seeing, what we're seeing underneath the car. I mean, working in a shop, I know how if I bring a customer out to a car, I can show them what's going on. That makes it work. But now they're at work, we can do a digital inspection and send it to them at work. They can look at it, and it makes a big difference because now we're we're not selling the customer, we're educating, we're showing them why we're suggesting this, and now they can make a decision based on their information. It opens the playing field. I remember as a tech, you know, you take the car and you disappear in the back and you do some mumbo jumbo, and here's your bill, and here's what you need to do. Well, we've changed it. We now bring you out to the car where you get a chance to see exactly why we want to take care of your car. Wouldn't it be awesome to get something extra for buying automotive products you use daily in your shop? Well, the Extra Loyalty Program does exactly that. Extra awards you for buying products and services. Start earning extra points today. Simply register online and watch for exciting promotions to add even more extra points. Before you know it, you can redeem those extra points for the things you want. While you're here in Vegas, you can sign up for a chance to win 10,000 extra points. Stop by the Bosch booth or the Castro booth for more information. Start earning today. Seeing and handling new products, talking to representatives and addressing your concerns. That is the value of the Apex show floor.
show floor features a number of specialty sections for an efficient attendee experience. I'm Andrew McIntosh for Apex TV, brought to you by ZF. Joining us now is Nevada State Assemblyman Steve Yeager. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. Yeah, it's my pleasure. It's really great to be here today for the show. So you got a tour, I believe. What did you think? Uh, just blown away. The, the amount of vendors here, just incredible. I mean, it's kind of sensory overload just walking through. We, we did stop by, I think, five or six different booths and was uh, just amazed by the technology and the direction that uh, the manufacturers and the aftermarket products are going. So just you know, really eye-opening. Glad to be here. So talk a little bit about the economic impact Apex has on the area. Well, just huge for us. This is the second largest convention that we have here in Las Vegas every year. Um, I think just today, 70,000 people are going to come through the show. So in terms of the amount of jobs that creates for the setup and the breakdown of the show, uh, the amount of spending at hotels, casinos, associated entertainment, um, the tax revenue, I mean, just incredible for our state. And as always, we are uh, very glad to host the show and hope to do, do so for many years to come. It's an important part of the economy here every year, I guess. Absolutely. Um, you know, Las Vegas really is the trade show capital of the world. Uh, we know how to do it. We've been doing it for a long time. And when you come into an exhibit like this, I mean, you're just blown away. And you can see um, how much work goes into it and how much pride goes into making sure that we're doing this the right way and that all the guests here have an enjoyable experience. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you so much. Apex 2017 attendees got important insight on what may be coming in the next year during the aftermarket outlook. NPD's Director of Industry Analysis, Nathan Shipley, talked about projected economic trends that could impact 2018 and how they're related to the good and bad trends we saw in 2017. Well, since the last time we spoke about 12 months ago, there's, there's two major things that we saw affect the aftermarket. Uh, the fact that the miles-driven growth rate has slowed down quite a bit. It's still trending positive, but it's uh, slower than it was this time last year. And average prices at retail have increased quite a bit. So the market has stayed positive, at least the markets that we track have stayed positive. Uh, the miles driven story did not help the market but this price story definitely kept it afloat. So our expectation going forward is that this miles driven growth rate uh, it, it's really stable it's going to stabilize. Uh, it's, it's been slowing down the last several months last several years but we expect going forward that it's going to stabilize and kind of hover where it's at which is a great story for the aftermarket. Uh, so much of what we do in this industry is based on how much consumers drive and if the uh, slowdown stabilizes that should be a good thing for us as an industry. This is Apex TV brought to you by ZF. I'm Kimberly Bottom, and as they do every year, ZF made another exciting announcement this year. So Dirk Fuchs is here to talk about that. Dirk, tell me about the training announcement you guys made. Yeah, we made a, a great announcement, and we finally we got certified. Um, certified means that our training concept, what we have in place, is now certified, and that's only we are one of 40 training providers here in North America what are actually certified, and uh, with that standard, we want to keep high quality trainings what we already providing to the market, but now we have this certification, and we can also give CEU credits to our uh, our students. That means with these credits, they are capable to go to a make a test and get a higher education, what I think is a great benefit for everybody. And now to talk about what we can expect moving forward into 2018 is Francisco Moreno. So Francisco, what can we expect? 
Well, be, what we can expect for 2018 is going to be a lot of more certified trainings out for the independent aftermarket for the technicians that made, made of the in the field. Now, yes, we were providing a lot of trainings, but now they're getting the certification that everybody's been looking for, which is ASE. But also now we get bringing in the Spanish training. So we're doing English and Spanish training, which as the F, we are basically we're saying, hey, everybody's going to get the same education equally. And we have learned throughout my year. Actually, I've been doing this for a year, and I've learned that everybody kind of learns in their own native language. And now bringing Spanish into the market is going to be a great success, hopefully, for us as the F and everybody else out in the independent market. The next generation of automotive aftermarket professionals are here at Apex. Students from Northwood University and from the SPARK program, which is put together by Multiparts to bring students to Apex, all toured the show and were recognized at a luncheon, providing them invaluable experiences to build their careers. There's a pretty big generation gap in between you know, who's running the aftermarket now and who's coming in, and Apex giving students the opportunity to learn more about it now is really going to benefit the industry later on. This industry has so many terrific leaders and so many people trying to bring new information and technology into the market and I cannot be more thankful to be a part of networking with them and trying to build my own network here. And of course, the Young Auto Care Network Group, or Yang, is in full force at the show. The group has more than 1,000 members and those attending Apex say they appreciate special events catered to them, like a Yang Town Hall and networking reception. They are fabulous as far as the events they put on, um, give us the opportunities to just connect with people and um, our peers and uh, the, the sessions that they do for us, um, the educational sessions, it's actually, it's, it's been way more than, than we thought we'd get out of it. is all about business, but we also know how to have a little fun. Lots of good fun. It's how you meet people and get to know them better socially so that when you're doing business, it's easier to do business with them. Apex receptions bring together professionals from across the globe, creating memories and connections. Apex 2017 may be winding down, but Apex TV is not. That's right, Apex TV will continue to bring you industry news, insights, and trends all year long with Apex TV 360. Be on the lookout for a new video every month. It'll be in your Apex email newsletter and on apextv.com. And if you have an idea or a topic that you want to see featured in one of our newscasts, give us a shout out on social media using the hashtag ApexTV. That does it for us here at Apex 17. I'm Andrew McIntosh. And I'm Kimberly Bottom. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next year.